Welcome back. I am seated here with somebody I have been a fan of for a very long time, ever since he got his first his song. I mean, the airwaves, he was the one who did the airwaves. And we all wanted to talk about him, talk to him, and then know what even the music industry has to offer this young man. I'm seated here with the young bull of the Ghana music industry. And today, I finally get, you know, there was a point that they call me the QIR talk. Thank you. <laughs> I was so proud of your music and yeah. your view and conversations around you. When I get mm. a chance, I can talk about you. So you can yeah. talk about this. Congratulations. Thank you very much. In a short time, you've made all of us that do our support behind you very proud. Yeah. And I'm excited that you're mm. here. There is this line that she said in your sorry song, Ka Na Mba Ereba. It's a start of everything you dreamt it to be. Um, I knew it would come one day, but I didn't know the time. Yeah, because I think I was always doing my thing out there, but I didn't know the actual time that the film will come. So I think it came very early. But is it what you thought it would like or is it what you probably if you should get it by like, chance? Is it all you expected? Um, okay, I knew it said that, but I didn't know how serious it would be. Yeah. And so far, you enjoy it. Mm, of course. What is your favorite part about being a star? Mm. Sometimes you get things free though. Mm. Yeah. Okay, there's also this line that I think I really like that she said in El Coso. You said, Yeah, per se, you're getting bigger all night long. Do you mm. have fears as wanting to outdo yourself, like mm. being bigger? Do you have that fear? No. As a person, you need to be great. That's why we explore, you feel me? So when we don't explore, we don't get the chance to be great, you feel me? So yeah. how often, how creative or how adventurous do you take when you are on a song or you have to do like, you are in a studio, do you go all out or you also always want to send people what you think they are familiar with when it comes to the game you have I do different things in the studio. Sometimes I even do a journal that I'm not comfortable with it, but I still do it. You just left school. Yeah. The transition is scary. No. Why? It's a normal thing. You need to be ready. When when you are afraid, that's where it gets scary to you. Okay, so I'm still seated here with the young talk, and obviously I have known his ways, and I'm sure most of you know his ways. So we're just trying to know what makes him tick as an artist, basically. Yeah. We're talking about school, and then I'm asking the transition from school. You know, school when you're in school, you have these boys that are always around you, yeah. and then right after school, you are in the world now, in your boys. Was the transition a bit scary for you? No, never. Because I'm ready for the film, so. When you really are afraid, that's where you, get, like, you feel like this thing is very scary to me. I'm afraid of something. So you need to be 100% ready. Yeah. There's this thing that you do when you're rapping, or there's this tone that you assume whenever you're rapping. Yeah. It's like you assume a superior tone, as in like, oh, to me, like those kind of things. Yeah. Is it, is it a thing of rappers? Or it's a y'all talk and a colleague thing, or y'all talk and the people think that you feel like people are always trying to downplay you, so you always have to. No, I think it's the attitude, cause you need to go all out on the song. If you don't need to go, then lay low or something. You need to give it to them like one hundred percent. As a rapper, if you know. Yeah, so I'll say it's just the attitude if you need to do it. Okay, but the mostly rappers say about what they, they, they are encountering. Are you encountering that? Like the messages you put up? Because you say a lot of things. Yeah. Are, are they things you experience or they are just, you know, as you said, attitude? Okay, um, some are things I do experience and some are things people do, do experience if you know. So I don't only check my story, I don't bring my story out every day, other people still because I have people around me that shares that story to me. If you know, so it's like everyone's story is involved. Do you think the industry has fully understood the young brand or there's more that we are yet to see from you or more we are yet to understand about your brand? Um they, they, they understand it a little bit, but there's more to come. You feel me? Because I'm just changing things. You feel me? Not every day, y'all talk when you want to say anything or change it every day. So, yeah, so there's more to come. Okay, so I'm 
you are very new in the industry, yet you are one that has a lot of conversations. Yeah. A lot of conversations around you. Do you think the media has been fair with any conversation around you, whether controversial, mm. not controversial? Have we played fair with you? I think this part of the game, if you need to work on it. And it trains your mind to either good or bad. It makes everyone, oh, this is the outdoor guy. Okay, cool. But, yeah, it's part of the game. You need to work on it. But does it affect you personally? No. No. Then you're hard. <laughs> Very hard. Nice. Let's also talk about the new project that you have on yeah. piano. I mean, there's this whole mm. conversation around the fact that the young school of artists, you post sound like Nigerian and all. Is it a fair comment to pass to a creative? No, it's like we're just creating our music, so I don't even really know why people do say like they sound the same or something. You feel me? Artist is an artist, he's creating a song. You just listen. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't like it. So they don't need to sometimes give bad comments. You feel me? Because maybe you can't create, but I can create. You feel me? So sometimes they should relax. So that's what I say. Yeah. But then when you listen to the type of song that's coming on now, do you sometimes feel like, oh, this is more like a Nigerian vibe, or mm. it's just we, the people that do not understand the creative process that is interpreted? I think some people do not understand it because music is music. They're just doing it. It's art. I can draw a car. You can draw a car, right? Yeah. So you can't say this artist can do this, can do that. It's wrong. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about who order Azu. Azu. What, what is it about? What is Azu? What is that word about? Azu, Azu is um, an alcohol in the club, very, very expensive. Okay. Yeah, so we, can, we, we are still not finding a person. The order is on you, who is the. What happened? Somebody ordered that one from the multi-media car and I said... Okay, where is that from here? I think we went to Nigeria, right? Okay. For Africa. Okay. And we were using it as a term. Who are that? 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 So, bad boy teams came around and we were just working. So, one of my managers said, who are that? Who are that? Who are that? And we used this term as a song. So, okay. We made a producer play the song. Sorry, a beat. Instead of vibing to who are that? 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 Oh, it's like you go to the club, right? With like your girls, then someone ordered for us, but you don't have the money to pay for us. You hear me? So after drinking it, who's gonna pay? And the bouncer too is on you guys. Who's going to pay? Where does? That's where the pressure comes. I get it. I get it. And were you the one performing on the song the whole time? No, bad boy was doing the hook. That was on the verse. Yeah. Do you feel that because of the sound or the type of sound, you were forced to do something different that you know your talk, like you don't know your talk from, mm. as compared to the kind of sounds you do yeah. happen on here in Ghana? Mm. Does the song, the sound challenge you, or do you think people might think your talk sound this way because of the kind of sound you are presented with? Okay, as an artist, you need to explore. I don't need to do Joe every day. And flow, instead of flow, right? so I need to explore. Okay, maybe only for okay, so you, that's why you have fun bases. April, say April hip hop. You don't need to only feed only one place, you need to feed everywhere because we are looking for numbers too. So I tell you to build a fun base. It's like we are not moving forward. You need to explain and learn a lot. So I tell you, yeah. You are in Nigeria. What did you see when you came to Nigeria that made you feel like? Something that Ghana space lacks. Mm. I don't even know my mom for like. Well, not the space, as yeah. in Nigeria, but like being around artists, you yeah. know, doing a song, those kind of things. Is there something of actual conversations like things that's happening with the artists? You people, you have this link of thing. Um, what is missing? Or what did you see that you were like, oh, this thing, if it was in Ghana, would really help the music industry or even the artists? It's the same here. Everyone is supporting each other. If you mean, it's the same here. Like the new school, we support ourselves. It's the same. Cause I think Bad Boy came around. I think like 9 p.m. Then left around 12 to other studio. I think we went to record with another artist. So it's like back to back. The support is different there. Yeah. Yeah, the support is different. That's it. Like maybe I'll be here today. 
the next few hours I'm there. I'm here. I'm here. So that's what I'm saying. You no, know, like, I'm a, I don't even know how to put it. I'm the boy who I'm on chain. As a, as a yeah. Oh, I see. You see. Why you guys have that? You and me are crazy. No, that's why I said the new school. Okay, okay. So that's why I said I don't know the the big G's. I don't know. That's why I don't know. Okay. But the new school. That's why we're doing it here. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you encounter a big controversy, how do you do that with control first as an artist? Um, do you know why I'm asking this? Because pretty young and I know how pressuring the industry can be. Yeah. How do you do damage control first as a person, a young boy that you know, you are in school and everything. How do you do damage control? You know, you know one thing about me. Um, every time I'm gonna make a change, I'm a trendy. Sir. Yeah. I'm a trendy. Like, I don't know. A bit, a bit more about me. I'm going to Twitter, so I don't know. Maybe I can't make a trendy. I'm going to call. So negative, let me get my image. So a good one, yeah. I start to like retreat and other things. So I think that me having tea doesn't really get to me. They keep saying you are hard. What? Yeah. What? 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 Near the upper man, you know, you see near the upper man, but you need to do what you want to be your own self. Okay, yeah, okay. Then let's now wrap up this conversation more with who are the as well as who. Yeah, I see that there's a lyric video out. Mm. Are we expecting a music video itself properly to you know push the song? Of out? course, 100%. And will you be done in Nigeria? I don't know, we can shoot it here, we can shoot it there, everywhere. Oh nice. Yeah. The song is about piano. Are your fan base, your core fan base, as you said, the movie you said with your drill and only at the first or are they like eh, this is the real talk? I'm just finding a new fan base, not the drill one, sorry. Just find a new fan base, not the drill, like you feel me, because I have the drill. I'm now creating a new one. Oh, okay, so this is to explore a whole new yeah. yeah, that's why I featured bad boy teams. Okay. Yeah. Well, this, am I just touch with the guy? <laughs> no, like, he has it. On the other side, in Nigeria, so I need to tap him. You feel me? Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought. So, where can we stream the Asu album? You better be right. Yeah. Uh, Apple Music, hey. Spotify. Everywhere, which is good, which is nice and there, man. Yeah. Please, um, we will be right back. I have another special conversation with you all talking. Right All right then, one day Africa, everything about you is so magical. This is cool face, and me tell you say, oh yeah, boom baga wege, keep watching. You don't know this is cool face, aka Bala Gaza. Your father is a rich man. One play Africa, keep watching. Mwah. Stars have aligned, and I have a bigger star here, so he's coming to choose whichever one that he wants. Yeah. So put his signature on it. Your top. The open ya ya Start ya open ya. I will be past you. Yeah, will be past you. I think I like this one. Okay. <laughs> nice. Congratulations to you. And Thank you. You are doing so well. Don't let anybody make you feel less. Yeah. Don't feel good that you are. You are really going and you are really going hard. And we really appreciate you. I appreciate you guys too. And I know you are more done. That's not good. But Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. One play, one play, one play. At last, your music.